Hello, this is the second major presentation by me, Meg Sait. We are currently in the third month of this module, and in this time, I have had to change my project from my initial idea, which was new mothers and how paying for childcare affects their personal and professional lives, to my new topic, which is about ethnic minority migrants who move away from home to majority English-speaking nations and why they feel like they need to act white or behave and speak in a certain way to pander to a white society and culture. I am also looking at the other side of the story, where when these migrants talk to their families back home, they get told off by them for putting on an accent or for not talking fluently in their mother tongue. The main focus of this project is going to be a loss of sense of identity or self that these people struggle with after moving away from home to a more progressive nation where they still get told things like, oh, your English is really good, like it's a surprising thing that they speak fluent English, whereas on the other hand, they get told by their families constantly that they are forgetting about or are losing their culture. The reason I had to change my topic was because of the coronavirus pandemic restrictions. And due to that, a lot of the mothers were not comfortable with me interacting with their children and putting them at risk of the virus. So they all landed up pulling out of the project, leaving me with no subjects, basically. However, for the new project, it is proving to be a lot easier to shoot and put together as well since all of my subjects are in Cardiff itself and all of them are willing to be photographed socially distant. Uh, I have already done seven shoots for this project and I've had two interviews back as well. I have managed to get 13 subjects to say yes to be a part of it and I'm going to continue looking for more subjects to meet my eventual goal of having 25 subjects in the final book. Since this project is about changing cultures and adapting into a new culture, the subjects I'm using for the project are from everywhere outside of the UK, basically, especially since this project is focusing on the aspect of languages and accents. Everyone who is not from the UK fits the project quite perfectly. So these are the subjects that I have so far. Here are some contact sheets of the shoots that I have done so far. Um, so over here on the right, the first subject is Arti, who is from India and is in Cardiff as a student now. On the left here is Polina, who is from Russia, who is also a student in Cardiff now. On the right is Praveen, who is from India, again, a student in Cardiff. Um, on the left here is Raza, who is from India again and is also a student in Cardiff. On the right is Dainty, who is from Zimbabwe, who is now a graduate in Cardiff Trafores. On the left is Rutendo, who is also from Zimbabwe and she is currently working in Cardiff. And on the right here is is Desire, who is from Nigeria, who has just finished her master's degree in Derby, England. A lot of the research that I have done for this project so far are actual case studies that I found of experiences of migrants in white countries after they move, and I have linked all of them in the presentation. Um, for the aesthetic research, I took some inspiration from two projects done on ethnic minorities in Britain itself and have linked them to. Uh, one of them is a project by Magnum and the other one is by a company called Somerset House. The shooting style was a challenging one to figure out initially for this project. Since everything needs to be shot socially distant due to the coronavirus restrictions, Visual representation of the story was proving quite tough, but after a few test shoots and guidance from my tutors, I managed to figure out a good way to shoot my subjects. I will be doing so by doing a mix of full-length portraits of them outside of the places that they currently live in, showing how they have truly integrated into the new culture, 
along with close-up portraits of them too, bringing out distinct facial features, showing just how different they really are from the places that they currently live in. Um, over the following months of this project now, I'm going to continue looking for and shooting subjects so that I can have my 25 subjects for my book at the end. I'm also going to continue sending out more interviews and hopefully I will have all the interviews and shoots done by the end of March so then I can give myself enough time to edit and put everything together for the book and the exhibition and have it all ready on time for the final submission. Thank you.